Hello and welcome to this second video about Program 24. Uh, if you're not part of the Markplex email list, then please go to markplex.com and I'll be happy to let you know when I create new tutorials or programs. So one of the members of the Gold Pass list emailed me and said, would it be possible to modify Program 24 so that it could be used with the scanner? Well, it's actually unnecessary because the program can already be used with a scanner and in this video I'm going to show you how that can be done. So what I've already got here is a scanner open and to create a new scan I'm going to go insert scan. I'm going to give it a name, just call it program 24 and let's say next. Then we need to decide what stocks we're going to look at. I'm just going to say all stocks and click next then in terms of criteria we're going to be using our indicator so I'm going to click indicator there and then we're going to look for program 24 okay I'm selecting program 24 saying OK and then you'll notice here on the right hand side we have all the plots now the plots that we're interested in are these ones here which go from 8 to 23 and uh, they look a little complicated but if I just explain the uh, the key I think they'll probably be more obvious so the R stands for reverse and these are all reverse or hidden divergences because that's what the program is looking for at least potential hidden divergences DIV stands for uh, divergence L means low pivots H means high pivots if we have CF that means that we're using the fast CCI if we have the S that means we're looking for secondary divergences and if we have the one that means we're looking for what I've called one piv div divergences and those terms are explained in the rest of the program 24 page so for example if we're looking for reverse divergences where we're looking for low pivots we're going to select that one and then in terms of the operator we're just going to say display so I'm going to run this. I'm probably going to just stop the video and restart it again. It's going to take a little bit of time and uh, then we'll just see how they appear and what they look like when we look at the same divergence on the chart. Oh, and incidentally, you, um, if you are going to be comparing with the chart, you do need to make sure that these settings are the same between the chart and the scanner. Also make sure that your interval is the same and make sure you've got enough additional data loaded. So let's go ahead and run the scan. Okay so when the scan has completed we can look down the list of stocks in this case and what we're looking for is a stock with a number of a hundred like so and uh, that indicates to us that a divergence has occurred recently so I'm just going to go down the list and now I've already linked the, the the scanner to the chart. You'll notice here the little blue uh, icon higher up the uh, the screen. So when I click a stock, we should see a chart open with that stock in it. So I'm going to click on this one here, and then if we go, or rather, I say it should open. It's already linked. The chart is already open. Uh, you'll notice we've got the same icon here, and you'll notice that yes, indeed a uh, hidden divergence or at least a potential hidden divergence has happened recently and if you were to just hover over the CCI here you'll see that uh, the R div L is showing as a hundred and that is what's being picked up by the scanner so if you wanted to go ahead and use the scanner to um, not just find the uh, reverse divergence for lows but potentially the reverse uh, divergence for highs as well what you would need to do is click here create another indicator and then for that put the um, the name of the plot as R div H and then the operator to display and then effectively you'd be running two scans to look for two different patterns occurring in the program anyway I hope uh, you might find this useful